enemies of greatness. There are many who are destined to be great, but something is standing against their greatness. There are many who are created to be great, but something is fighting against that greatness. There are many, they came as a great man with a big star, but they are not shining. Not because they are not made to shine, but something covered the star. There are many who are created not to struggle, but condition and powers, foundation, cover them. Greatness is that power God has invested inside of you that wherever you enter, you shine out, you make something good. There are many who are lucky that they have been able to succeed to some extent. But there are many people that what is after them is stronger than what they are looking for. And this morning, and I pray, you watching me, you following online, whatever power against your greatness, may that power bow in a hurry. What is the theme of this meeting? Oil of greatness. Many of us who came with that oil, but something snatched it. We are created to be great, but the powers of this world, according to some scriptures say, powers of this world. The thing stood against you and vowed not to let you go. Listen, a program like this is, you must know that it's warfare. You must declare it. You must contend with something that is contending with you. You must be ready to take back what rightly belongs to you. It's not a physical fight. It's a spiritual fight. And the violent will take it by force. Now let me say something. When it comes to warfare program like this, because when we talk about deliverance and liberation, we talk about warfare. Number one, you must settle. Just like that's what prayer I say we should pray. Very, very important. Maybe after the teaching, because of those who are coming behind, we are still going to go into that prayer before we take our prayer section today because if each of the days you have the prayer point that follow it. When it comes to you want to get liberated or comes to deliverance, number one, you must settle your shortcut with God. You must, you must stand to let God know whatever that will stand against me before you. Because most times the devil wants you to pray out of ignorance. The devil wants you to ask when you are not supposed to ask. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The first thing is to settle whatever that will stand as a barrier between you and God. You know, Bible says the accuser of brethren because the devil is looking for something to accuse you. Number two, when it comes to prayer, you must know your word. Jesus defeated the devil, not prayer. Jesus defeated the devil through the word. It is written. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Was it not Luke chapter 4? From verse 1. What did he say? Look for verse 1. Though that's not my direction. But he said, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan, led by the Spirit, by the Spirit, into where? The wilderness. Verse 2. Being how many? 40 days, tempted of the devil, and those days he did eat nothing. Now, he was in fasting and prayer. So most times you don't use fasting and prayer to conquer the devil. You use the word. Did you hear what I said? He finished 40 days coming down. What confronted him was the devil. And no wonder some people have finished fasting and prayer and instead of getting results, they ended up getting discouraged. Because some things, the devil will position himself to confront you. Know whether you know the prayer you prayed. If not, now, how can Jesus, 40 days coming down, devil came to ask him question in the right sense as a man you believe that as i finish 40 days now come down every problem will stay far from me true of us now so it's supposed to be but in the spirit train that time when you say you carry fire that's when the devil wants to try you but that is not my problem you conquer the devil through the world verse 5 what happened And then we take him up into the high mountain. Showed him. Showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world. In the mountain. Moment of time. Verse 6. 
And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give unto thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me. And to whosoever I will, I will, I will give it. Verse 7. If thou therefore will worship me, it shall be done. You see, it's not, it's, it started from time, from the beginning, that the devil had been using glory and honor to make people to worship him. Because people who went to do rituals, they went to bow down to the devil to get his glory. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What did he say? Get thee behind me, Satan. What did he say? For what? He didn't say for because I finished 40 days fasting and prayer. <laughs> he didn't say to the devil, say, Come on, get out. I don't finish 40 days fasting and prayer. My labor, da, da, da. No. Jesus said, For it is written, Thou shalt not worship the Lord thy God. I mean, I, for it is written, sorry, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. So you want to take glory from me. So number two, you must know what is written of you. You must know the word of God consigning your destiny. You must know what God is saying. Even though you came out in that family and the battles want to trap you, you must remind the devil who you are in Christ. He laid his hand and said, I know who I am. If you don't know who you are, you cannot identify yourself when, the, when police arrest you. But if you know who you are, the way you will identify yourself, you will escape. Talk to me. Have you not got to some place the, the police will say, identify yourself. Tell us who you are. The sons of Skepa, the demon said, identify yourself. Jesus we know. Paul we know. Show us the ID guy. So when it comes to warfare, you must identify who you are. Tell the devil, I am redeemed by the blood. Christ died for me. He shouted on the cross and said, it is finished. So, Get thee out of the way. I'm here to take back what belongs to me. When you settle your fault with God and know your right and be aggressive. Now listen, when it comes to the place of prayer in warfare, you don't just talk, you command. The Bible says where the word of a king is, there is power. So when it comes to liberation and deliverance prayer, warfare, you don't just talk. I think it's something. My love, my God. My love, my God. You are not praying, my dear. The devil knows the hear. What he hears is what? Come on. You foul spirit. Get out. That's the language you hear. If you don't talk like that. So you must be aggressive. Can I hear your amen? amen. So you must understand these three, four things. When you want to pray now back to what i was talking about dealing with the powers or enemies against your greatness that family where you come from how many people have raised in that family how many stars are shining as i'm talking now one is this how many stars have ever shined number two how many stars shined and remained and they are still shining because some stars shined just one year, two years, and they went down. Talk to me. You know what I mean? In family, some people get money before. You see, you see the man who has money before. Today, he cannot buy even keke. What you He cannot even pay house rent. This is the first thing you look at. Because at times, you need to identify some problems and know how to handle it. In my family, how many people have ever shined? How many people have ever become and they are still there after 10 years, after 20 years, after 30 years, they are still building in their greatness and they never drop? How many of them? Very few in families. Talk to me. Even at that, there are some people in the family thought that they are still standing. Only God know because they don't tell you in their pocket. They are living a cover-up life. I'm telling you. I know a man in this city who wanted to commit suicide. Why? Because family members are still bringing problems. They are still asking him for money. Because he has money that time. But they never knew that the man, Oga, Oga don't reduce. He can't even feed himself. They are still bringing an hey, invitation card from village. Chief launcher, 1.6 million as of 1998. And he collected chief launcher of that year. He said he will kill himself before they launch it. Because they thought the man is still standing. He said that time he, he, he was using Dasu. 
He didn't even have, he said at the time he don't have money to buy food and put for that soon. He said we'll trick, enter bus, go new beneath here. So when he enter, say some boys go to tease and say, Oh, guy, we get money. No, no, you people can disguise. No, no, boss, you they enter. Maybe we'll no, no, say you get. You see problem. Stretch your hand toward this altar. Whatever power in that family where you come from, that vow that nobody will be great. As you turn that M and three and you are pulling your head out of that power. Sit down. Now, let me show you something from Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. We are talking about enemies of greatness. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod, the king, behold, there came what? Wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Do you know what happened with Jesus? You know, it's a popular story. Jesus was born, he started shoot out, and men started looking for him. Now, do you know? Now, let's read verse 2. Saying, where is the king? Where is he that is born of king of the Jews? For we have seen what? His star in the east. And I come to worship him. Verse 3. When Herod the king heard, had heard these things, he was troubled. Now, do you know there are some people who, who, who their star shoot out in your family and they began to rise. But at the time they drop. What's me right? Some of them is not just altar. Because tomorrow I'm going to show you the powers, the different kind of power that can bring down a man. But most of them wasn't altar, wasn't foundation. Some of them was household enemy. Because when Herod heard that Christ was born and men saw his star and he started shining, he wanted to kill him. I'm telling you, there are some people who bought kind their family, they enter problem. Because somebody said nobody will buy her. A young man traveled to Abuja. His papa prayed for and finished. Say, my son, if you reach Abuja, no buy your goo. No buy your goo. He picking say, what if your goo? He said, you no get sense. If you reach Abuja, no buy your goo. He did ask papa, what if your goo? He had to go meet his brother, papa brother. Say, see what my father told me as I want to go to Abuja. He said, no matter what I do for Abuja, make a no buy your goo. Your goo, your goo come. Your goo na moto. So others we are praying for car. Just like as I pray for car, here people are dropping seed. You know they ever drop seed because Papa warned them if you want last long, whenever you buy your book, take on this house. That's to say the father is against a man rising to that level. Now listen, I don't care to know how close they are. In this meeting, we are going to deal a lot of things. A household enemy, power that forbid you to rise. People that hold your staff, people who vow with their life, may God deal with them. Herod, what brought Herod anger? He saw the, the men who saw the star of Jesus. They came to identify. He vowed not to allow the star to shine. Now, you under the sound of my voice watching. Wherever you're watching this program, who is that person in your family who does not, who vow? Maybe he have rise and say nobody will rise, follow him. Some of them no rise, oh. some of them did not shine. And yet they believe say nobody will shine. Somebody had a fire. Are, are you getting me? Some of them no get and they vow say nobody go get. Some of them get and they vow say only them go get. Overtaking is allowed, brother. And the boy traveled to Lagos. I mean Abuja. One day, Pastor called him and said, rebuke him and said, I don't understand your attitude. You are active in this house. Everything you are good. But when we are praying for pr prosperity, you'll be drawing back. You see, you know, they, so the pastor called him. He said, I said, he said, the pastor told him and said, He said, Why I'm talking to you? Because you'll be at the back, others will be at the front. It doesn't matter when you came. He said, After shouting for the boy, he said, I want to see you. If you cannot give 10,000, you can give 500. Start somewhere to begin to pull yourself. The boy agreed. Whenever that something he started praying, he never knew it was that thing, Papa Teller. Nine make they run for anything big money. As I just defeat myself, they pay for one, my, my one room. No one trouble. Papa won and say, any day you do, and say you will see war. 
And at the time he forgot about the power, he began to follow the instruction of the man of God. Now, things began to change. And a day he had the opportunity. Somebody used a car, didn't use it too much, and was according and saying, Bro, you never go to now, and I want to give her this car. You come and buy. He said, No, to get, no, get the, the man said, Bring the one you have. Take, I want to buy a bigger one, but take this one, it will be good for you. The boy was happy. He said, We will help you, help you for transfer. The boy was happy. He was able to buy the, the vehicle. That December, he drove the car, go home. He reached home. Papa, hey, Papa, come out with a walking stick. They pa pass around, they take walking stick, the hitter. Walking stick. If they watch it, Papa, Papa hit the front tire with walking stick. Ba, 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 ba. He turn, turn, turn. If they look at Papa, I think he say, Papa, happy. Hey, Papa used walking stick, knock him again. Turn to the blast part, knock him with walking stick. Pull him from back. Enter room. Now I call him, Papa say, he no talk. Papa no answer him. Papa enter room. He went to give the Papa a drink. He said, come pray for my guy. Papa no answer him. Say, tell me another thing. I stand on this altar. Anybody who never wish you to rise. Anybody who never wish you to build, to buy a car. If they tie you anywhere, I command that thing to break. Now listen, I don't care to know how close that person is to you. Somebody have a break three times. Now sit down. Now do you know this boy? I'm telling life story within where we are. The boy returned, came home to stay for the whole Christmas. At least to stay two weeks. He, I think he came around 23 or 20, 24. And he bought things because that year God helped him. He noticed that the papa, others were happy. He bought car. He did well. But papa no smile. But from that night when he entered the house, this boy dream changed. He, they were chasing him. They were feeding him. He was, at times, he looked as if they want to press him to die. He would jump up. And these things were not happening in Abuja where he was living. What is all these things? He doesn't understand. He stayed 24, 25, 26. The thing become so terrible. That when he's coming tonight, he's scared. Guess what? The boy decided to go back to Abuja. And he called the mom and said he will not stay again. Mama said, What? He said, You stay past New Year. He said, Mama, you know they stay again. That something came up. He refused to tell the mama so that the mother will not be scared. So he now decided to go back to Abuja so that he can meet his pastor and complain. No, the kind prayer he will start doing. He entered the road. Fear on a highway in that Okene road. Fear on a speed. An old man stood on the center of the highway. They do hand like this one. He was coming closer, applying for speed, thinking that this man would jump out. He did and look, where do they stop me in this bush path? The old man they do hand like this. They do hand like this. He, he said he said, coming closer, try the man still jump, come out. That's to say, kill me. He said at a time, he had to dodging the man, cleared finally at the side of the bush. And he was asking the old man, what is wrong with you? You know me before? The old man tell and say, my picking, who you carry for boots? I tell the old man, he be like, say, you be a mad person. Anybody, is, it, is anybody inside with me inside this car? The person didn't sit inside car, not inside boot. Now ask and say, who did your boot? He said, old man, please let me go. He won't move again. The man jumped. He said, who you carry for boot? He was shocked. Whether not a thief. But he said, he now called the old man and said, you are too old for this. I respect you for your age. You are older than my father. Who I will say is old. He said, thank you. He said, but. He said, after much argument, the old man said, you carry somebody for boot. Go boot. Go check who you carry for boot. For him to prove to the old man, say, I no carry anybody. Now he jumped and said, Okay, old man, come. Come look. How person will carry person for boots? Press the boots. Open. Now he see Papa with walking stick inside boots. He's shocked. Who then Papa inside the motor? Now he come out. And he was afraid. 
You know, enter inside the memo to how you go enter inside boot. Hey, the boy turned again, greeted the old man. Has he turned? Returning back home. May he go drop it, Baba now. And the Papa no talk. You see, Papa, they are just stay there. They when he looked through the mirror, he no see the old man again. He said, which kind of John is this? Which kind of strange thing? They turned back home. After <laughs> getting home, people gathered in the house. As they enter, they say, hey, see and see and see and see and see. People, they put, now they ask and say, they say you don't come out before. They say you go this morning. They say, he say yes, but he want to talk. As he, they, they ask and he told them, say, no, that won't be my problem. And he noticed people were gathering. He, he called one of the brothers, say, come, come. That one, one talk to them quietly, he say, no, come. He say, the, that one tell and say, okay, wait, wait. Anything happened? Why did you come back? We are thinking how to call you. He say, call me for what? He say, your papa just that. He say, no. He say, papa, they boot. They say, are you, they, you smoke? We are telling your papa just that. That's why we gather here. He say, no. Say, I make it revise. Say, papa, they inside the boot. They say, okay, open boots, and I will see. Check boots, you know, see Papa again. So the father wanted to use the boy's head. Anybody in that family who want to use your head? Shout the father. Any man or woman close to me that want to use my head. Da! Clap your hands and pray that prayer. You watching me there pray. In Jesus name we pray. Listen, I'm going to pray some strange prayer within this week. Stretch your hand. Let me declare it like this. Whoever very close to you. I don't care to know how they related to you. Whether not your brother, whether not your uncle, your mama or your papa. And they have any trace of your problem. They are connected to what you are going through. In the name of Jesus, as you turn that image, we break their hands. Did you hear what I said? I repeat that prayer. You watching me, whoever, whosoever. Around you. They are behind what you are going through. I don't care to know how close, how they related to you. But if they get hand for your problem, within these seven days, may fire meet them. May judgment of God catch up with their head. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. The young man opened the boot. Couldn't see the father. And he was telling the uncles what happened, how he saw an old man on the highway. And as he revised, look through the window, I mean, the monitoring glass, you know that glass like this. He said he couldn't see the man, the man again. That it was that man that told him, say, you are carrying somebody at your boot, inside your boot. Many of us, what is after us, what is holding us is not far. It's within us. And the problem is that we are confused because most of them, they, they, they pretend as if they celebrate us. They pretend as if they are in, they are in agreement to what we are looking for. Even at times, someone tells us, oh, God, go do and we go give you that way they look for. But meanwhile, they are the one holding it. And it becomes so difficult for you to suspect them. Not talk of praying against them. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus three times. Herod, heard that Christ was born, saw the great men looking for him. Herod was angry. Look at that Matthew chapter 2, verse 3. He was angry. The anger there is that why? And I am praying for you. Whoever that is always angry when things are good for you. If they take any step, it will hang on their head. Sit down. And what did he not say? 
verse 4. Okay, verse 3. I'm head of the king. Had had these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Verse 4. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. He, do you know what I saw there? He wanted to monitor the activities. Now as I'm talking now, is anybody around you who is standing as a monitoring spirit? You know what is morning Holy Spirit? They want to know every details of, of your movement. Now, do you know that there are some people are, are, around you, there are people somewhere, they, they are not close to you, but they have all your information. Now, how do they know? Because they are not to be present. Because somebody somewhere is monitoring you. Herod was angry. He was angry. He was angry. Now look at verse 12 to 14. Of that chapter 2, from verse 12 to 14. And being warned of God in the dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed to their own. Now let's read verse, yeah, okay, verse, 12, verse 13 now. To their own country to another way. And when they were departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, What did he say? And take the young child and his mother and flee. No, be wrong. No, be wrong. He say, flee. No, wrong means use your leg. Flee means grow wings. That one I raise where they run. That kind of race when you are running it, eh? You know they look for your bag. My white cloth, my head, my blue head, uh, uh, scarf. No, because now your head now you want save. No, be cloth. Now, when you want to run, you go gather load where you want to run. But when it comes to flee, you may even live with that pause. I'm telling you the truth. That kind of race, you know, they reach house. Now, where you hear the information, now you go take off. No, you didn't hear what I said. That's what it means to flee. You don't need to go home. Make I go prepare oh, on Monday or Tuesday by two. Uh, no, it's not an appointment. It's a case of emergency. He said, flee. Now, men and brethren, Christ himself, they have to smuggle him out. Don't you see that this fight is a big fight? Because somebody somewhere wants to stand against that prophecy. Christ didn't just come. He is God himself. Not just God. He, there was prophecy by many prophets about his coming. And he's the salvation. Jesus. The mother, the angel said, take this young child, go to Egypt. Now listen, at that time, by right, he's not supposed to go to Egypt too. But they have to hide him in Egypt too, where the enemy cannot locate him. Now, if Christ can be, you know, smuggled out of environment because of enemy of greatness, how much more you? You see that many have also lost their own life. There are many who are supposed to be great, but they uproot them untimely. But that will not be your portion. The angel said, if you keep this boy here, they will kill him. You know, John chapter 10 verse 10 said, the thief coming not to steal, to kill, and to destroy. When something is stolen, it will take you time to recover. When something is killed, it's out of existence. That one is the worst. When something is being destroyed, by mercy and grace, it can be repaired. But at times, something can destroy beyond repair. Talk to me. But when the devil looked at it, he cannot steal this thing, he will kill it. If they see they cannot kill it, they say, let's destroy it. Even though it did your hand, it will not have value. That's what it means. Even though he did there, by the time he don't marry, by the time he don't have child, children, by the time he didn't go to school, he's there. Just like when you give birth to a child, he's growing, but he cannot talk. He's not behaving normal. That child is there, but it has been destroyed. I don't know whether you are getting me. But the one that they killed is already dead. Now, but you know there are some that are stolen. Now, that stolen there means they are no more. You can't picture them. They're existing somewhere. They are existing somewhere, but you cannot reach them. 
Do you know some people give birth to children, they don't know where their children is, or one or two of their children. I think I pray for somebody. After 13 years, his brother who left home, he didn't know the way about, looked for home, came back home. What happened? He didn't know. He said one day, just they hear voice, say, they go, they go, they go, don't come home. Come, run, run, they didn't pursue you. The voice telling him, he didn't hear. They took Jesus out of the way and went to Egypt and kept him there. There are so many great men who are on the run. There are so many great men, powers from their father's house is chasing them. There are powers outside chasing you. Who they pursue you? Who they monitor you? Who vows say you cannot die? Gibu papa mwere piko le numanya Gibu mama mo pika chopola me Gibu papa mwere Gibu mama mwere Gibu papa mo pika chopola me What is happening? Look at your mother's children. Some even went to school, but they can't not walk. They can't feed themselves. Some married. How is the marriage? They plan for better marriage. They marry the worst one. Where are your mother's sons? How many is shining in that family? Even there are some, the most painful one, you go to family, you see people shining, but one particular people of the same mother, they are not making progress. Because somebody covered you, maybe because he hate your mother or hate your father. He said, Nobody. Do everybody hit ground? The Bible says, The earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. And I believe that this meeting is the meeting for someone's greatness to manifest again. So you're telling some people overdue for marriage. Times you go look yourself for mirror, they ask questions say, God, what is wrong? Now, how I break? Now, let. Why is it? Some ladies overdue for marriage, but nobody they see you because somebody cover you. I handle a case where they use a man's picture, a woman's picture to cover her. Somebody carried the picture, went to somewhere, they did some kind of rituals, they used basket, take over that. Now, do you know when you use basket, cover foul, he will remain there. He will still be healthy and alive, but he cannot move. Any evil basket that they have used to cover you. As a young girl, and say, no, no matter where you walk, they will not see your face. I told you I was in counseling session one day. A lady came to me. He said, Look at me, I'm clocking 40. No, before she said that, when he got to her time to see me, when she knelt down to talk to me, I said, she said I'm, talk, I'm listening. He said, Don't be angry. Oh. What I want to say. I said, Go ahead. He said, Please, don't be offended. I said, Talk. He said, I said, What is wrong now? Talk, whatever it is, open your mouth, talk. He asked me a question. I said, Pastor, no verse. I said, this no verse. Don't be angry. How many times? He said, I know fine. I don't know. Zina. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's what she asked me. Please, no verse. No verse. No fine. No fine. No fine. I said, you are fine. You are wonderfully and fearfully made by God. I said, but why did you ask? He said, for more than 10 years. No matter where I go, no matter how I dress, no matter, no man one day have to ask me, will you marry? He said, that's why I get confused. Nobody, he said, he said, they hear some people, they go say, na person where they know like, na, but he said, nobody will be mad. Don't ask for more than, he said, 13 years. He said, see me, close to 40. He said, I don't look for who to ask. I say you are my pastor. I go kill for counseling. Make I ask you, where my face? Now mask could be? Battle. Le Madame 
Give my mama big chocolate. Some of you are doing business. Somebody sat on that business. I asked you a question. I said, How many of your family made money? How many in that family still see food today? They might this meeting you must shout, you must cry to God. Though. Even if you see food now, you must tell God, say it, it will not come in a time in my life that I, I will look me that can give people that now I cannot even afford. Because I've seen it. I don't know whether you don't see. As big men, they are still alive, but glory have left their hand. Greatness has been murdered, star has been killed. The lantern has been used for blank, blanket cover. Because somebody somewhere sat down and said, lie, lie. Because that's why you see, when God is helping you, my dear, don't be carried away. Not be everybody follow you, they smile. Some people want to see you stranded. They want to see you begging for food. Even when you buy a car, Go family, they give people drink. It isn't everybody drink that drink with happiness. Somebody say, eh, which day? Ibu papa were Biko Lenumania. Ibu mama mo Bika Chipolame. I'm telling you. That lady. I, I told her, I said, You will pray. He said, I've been praying. I said, But I will give you direction. Because while we are talking, the Lord showed me that she had passed her husband many times, but the, the man couldn't recognize her. That's what I told her. He said, Husband, he said, Me, I never. I said, The man don't pass you. But the answer is that they use something to cover you. I wish I had something like bow. All those bow around. Or should you have any one bow? Something like bow, not basket. You know, those days when in village, you, you catch fowl. Like Christmas, like this. You go put them for granted, use bow, cover them. You know, go come out. Basic. Use those iron basic. Take cover that fowl. You, you don't need to put anything on top. You know, go come out. You go dead there, humble, healthy, alive. But they cannot escape. And today I pray. I don't know who I'm praying for. Any basin they have used to cover you, cover your business. You'll be looking, others will be selling. I command that evil basket. Pray. Okay, give me. Now listen. See. Get me money now. Pick any of those money now. Come. For example. How much I put here now? If somebody enter now, ask the person what is inside. Go tell it. But you who saw it, you know because you know when it was covered. But if we are not here, when I cover it, even you even believe say nothing is there. Because it's possible that this bas this thing just turned. Am I correct? It's possible. They just keep on like this. But meanwhile, there is something that has value. Not just something, something that has value on that, but it has been covered. That's how some people business be. That's how some people marriage be. That's how some ladies they cover them. You they wear cloth, you they walk up, but you are walking under the jurisdiction of what they used to cover you. But especially when you, God don't bless you, least in rain, my, or especially when you don't see food, job. My dear, pray well. Oh. One thing is to shine, another thing is to continue to shine. You didn't hear that message at all. Another thing is that you are shining, and you shine, and you are still shining. Nobody say, I've been the shine before. I've been fit by motto before. I've been the fit people. I've been the help people. But not that time, eh, before, before, but now, what happened? Because something has covered now in this service if there is anywhere they cover you they cover your business cover your star any evil basin evil basket somebody help bread
Listen. No tell me say now nah, economy. Now nah, lie. Listen to me. At time when the devil want to deceive you, tell him say my nah, economy now nah, in money too high, exchange is too high. Check whatever you are selling, whatever you are doing, people are still in need of it. Why is it only your own economy affect? Because dollar too high. Who told you? Dollar too high, are they not buying it? Go where did they sell dollar now? You see, say they are still Even when you need 1,300, people we are still buying. Importers, we are still importing. And you see a man who checked business and said, dollar don't high. I saw a man who told me that he had a point of exchange. He lost 20 million because it's an import. I import cameras. I said, did you change? He said, I will have to continue my business. Ah. But some people are in one spot because somebody covered you. Now look at the prayer you prayed this morning. Shout it, Father. If God is your father, shout it from your spirit. Any man or woman in my family that have covered my star, whatever you have used to cover me, as I begin to pray, you evil basket, evil basin, evil hand, covering me, not to shine. Pray! Pray that prayer right now. My dear, be aggressive in your spirit. Whatever they used to cover me, whether it is basket, whether it is calabash, whether it is basin, whether it is blanket, as I pray, wherever they did it, no matter how many years, by the power of the Holy Ghost, scatter, scatter, pray, 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 In Jesus' name we pray. That usher, I think that sister coming now is usher. Come, come, come. Listen. Run, come. You are just coming in now, right? You are just coming in. Come. I want to give you an assignment. Come this way. I put something under here. You know what is inside? Under this. You're not saying a basket with this. What is inside? You know what is inside? If you know, tell me you know. You don't know. You don't know what is inside. Now, you are here, right? Come. What is, what did I cover there? This one, no, because he saw. Then I cover. This one, didn't know. Because he was not there when he's covered. Do you see many of us, our helpers, they come out and say, they no go see us. Customer, they no go see us. Married, they no go see us. Shout it, Father. Father. Anywhere they cover me, Anywhere they say they no go see me. That they no Any hand covering me. Any hand. Pray. Pray. Oh, yeah, pray. My Father, my Father. Any hand that is covering me so that my helpers will not see me. So that those who will bless me will not see me. As I pray in the name of Jesus, I break that down. I slaughter that down. I break that down. I slaughter that down. Lord, any demonic hand, satanic hand, evil hand, covering me, covering my marriage, covering my destiny, covering my wound, covering my prison, covering my glory, covering my soul. As I pray by fire, I break that down. I slaughter that down. I break that down. I slaughter that down. In the name of Jesus, you demonic hand, I pray it doesn't matter how many years you have covered me. So just my God deliver. I pray that hand. I pray that hand. I release myself. I release myself. I release my destiny. I release my glory. You can't keep me here. I refuse to remain where you kept me. I pray that hand as I release myself by the power of the Lord. You evil hand that have covered me. I pray that hand. I free myself. I free my children. I free my marriage. I release my glory by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to remember where you came. In be. Jesus' name we pray. I stand on this altar. 
Because money is here. Something that has value, but it was covered. There are many today due for marriage. Nobody they see you. But you do got the money they there. But you can't have access to it. There are still some people today, their business now so it covered. People go past you, go buy what you have. In fact, you even sell cheaper, sell better product, but they don't see your own. Did they happen to be no happen? At that you go even show them, say, sister, see him, see him, see him. You go pretend like say no see him. Nobody say pretend, you no know, see him. But when he buy and finish, come out, he go say, sister, but I didn't give you this thing. He go say, hey, you get him. He go take and look him. Hey, now he say, sorry, when I come next time, next time we did. No date. Next time. Most times, these things are not our wish. Remind, look at my, the prayer you pray now. My past will not be better than my future. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Nothing pain me in life when I see some people they tell you, say, I buy tear rubber. A man told me, I say, when 504 they rain for Bini, I bought tear rubber. But as I'm talking to you, he did mission road now. Uh, this uh, all this uh, toy radio now he put for one counter. Wait till he put there, self. If you put them for Ghana, must go, you know, fool. And he tell me how much he's owing with that small counter. He said, but, but for here, I buy tear rubber 504. When did they rain? When I fall in this village, you know they can't have what I see. And those of you who are elderly people will know that that house rain when money day. All those kind of houses they build, they will use green aluminium they put at the vegetables. I don't know how many you can remember. They will use green aluminium. They go nail the wood, come put green aluminium, take surround the view of that fisherboard. It was an old time big man house. Not everybody built a house. If you go to some city, not very few, you see it. They will use some mostly green. That time, mostly green aluminum. They will use a nail on the table divide. Oh, they will say, see, see my house. Hee! When I got there, he told me when he built this house, and at the same time, we buy that 504. But now, but now, wait, where are you there now? You go walk up, wear your boots. You know, they, you are going to pray. My future, my past will never be better than my future. Now listen, do you know why you need to pray that prayer? Even when God is helping you. Herod saw the star of Jesus. He started planning how to cover it. Even when you, you Christmas like this, we go home now. People will gather smart, we'll gather help, take and help people. You are not helping because you two get to, but you are giving up because you want God to use you to bless people. But somebody goes see him and say, eh? Okay, okay, son, don't see money. Eh, if I motto, hey. You will not come back the next year. Instead of things become easier, things will come hard. He be asking why because somebody don't see your star and vow say go cover them. But I stand on this altar; they no go cover you. In the name of Jesus, if your own, they don't cover them. As you thunder and thunder and thunder fire, I command it open. You didn't hear? I said, as you thunder and thunder time and release fire, may God unveil your glory again. open. Every one of you they cover your staff. They cover your shop. They cover your business. As I push it open I unveil your glory. From today your destiny helper they will find you. They will find you. They will find you. They will see you.